Hi, Princess Galamor. You can come and play, by the way. Please come in. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for coming. Okay, so what is a word that you live by? Um, I think an action might be honesty. Okay, what is something about you people don't know? So growing up, I actually had eight uh, dogs. I had four horses and six rabbits in my home. That's quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, I love animals. Okay, so uh, what do you say is your best quality? I think my best quality is um, patience. Yes. Great. And to actually get there, it took a lot of time because, again, when you're patient, a lot more things are able to happen for you. What's a quality that you're not proud of? I'm a huge procrastinator. <laughs> what advice would you give to a fellow procrastinator? So my biggest thing is actually keeping a daily planner and it's a three months planner. So it's not a yearly one. So I make sure to plan my days from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. on a daily basis so that I'm always proactive. Okay. Are you seeing someone currently? Yes. <laughs> What's your definition of a perfect date? Um, I think it's... So I love intimate first dates, so I don't necessarily like going to big crowded restaurants. So if there is a restaurant that is very low-key and is very private, just an Italian restaurant, a candlelit dinner, just me and him is perfect. With roses, of course. Dinner and movie. Um, no, because I just feel like as a first date, if you go to a movie, you won't be able to talk and get to know one another. So I think the perfect date is a cute Italian restaurant. When he, but while he picks you up, he needs to have those roses. Okay. <laughs> you do have standards. I appreciate yes, that. Yes, 100%. So... What is the best show that you've watched recently? Wednesday. I'm a big fan. It's so good. I just, Tim Burton is actually my favorite director. I love scary, gory things. Not necessarily horror, but just movies that take you out of your head and you're not able to actually, you know, be in your head and you're able to get out of it. So how do you stay motivated? Hmm. So, you know how I mentioned that daily planner? In that daily planner, I always make sure to include my daily activities, which includes yoga and exercise. I exercise five times a week, however, I try to keep a routine of having at least do yoga every single day because that's what keeps me peace. That gives, that's what gives me peace. But what gives me motivation is prayer. That's, that's my answer. Because I just feel like by the end of the day, when you're praying, you're talking to God, you're starting your day with such a positive energy, filled with so much light. So I think prayer is what I'll stick with. Okay, so what do you do for fun? I do a lot of things. Uh, I love horse riding, I love art, but nothing beats hanging out with friends. Good choice. So, what is the most embarrassing thing that you've experienced recently? I'm happy you said recently because a lot of embarrassing things actually happened to me a lot. But um, I attended the African Youth Leadership Conference um, about a month ago. And I won't say who, but the former president of an African nation. Um, <laughs> we, I didn't know it was him and we started getting into a debate and I completely went against his parliament and I against his specific views, not knowing I was talking to him until the end when he gave me his card, I understood that I was actually talking to a former president of an African nation. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's my biggest embarrassment right now. What is something that you regret doing? Um, I don't regret anything, actually. I feel like by the end of the day, as people, we're always growing day by day, not just every single year. So I honestly have zero regrets. I truly believe that everything happens for a reason. Great. Um, I'm sorry. I literally started preparing tea without even asking. Would you like some? I'd love some. Thank you. <laughs> it's giving Bridges and Vibes. Obviously. This is a royal video. <laughs> I'm just joking. It is a royal video indeed. So, what is the scariest experience you've ever had? Um, so, I'm actually 
actually an adrenaline junkie. I love doing activities that kind of scare me. So I think it's actually going shark cage diving in Cape Town last year. <laughs> wow, that's quite intimidating. Indeed. Not really. Like I said, I love things that race my heartbeat because I just feel alive when I do so. So Blaine, I see a lot of photographs and antics. Can you explain more? Absolutely. Um, come this way. So um, my dad loves art. So do I. Um, but these specific portraits that you're actually seeing are um, our, ancestor, our ancestors. So as you can see here, it's Emperor Sahaja Selassie. On the far right is Asiahela Selassie. And above him is an Empress Aitu. Wow. And so like some of these muskets that you see up here, so these were actually used during the Battle of Ottawa. You're kidding. <laughs> oh, no, I'm serious. Oh, wow. <laughs> But yeah, so these are some more paintings. Uh, so as Emilik is right here, Basadi, Yasu, and we need to find a place for this because um, I don't know if you actually are aware, the African Union during the Youth Leadership Conference was actually also to commemorate the African Union and the founding families were invited. So this is one of the gifts that uh, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed gave us. Wow. <laughs> thank you. Oh, um, Everything in, in here is exquisite oh, and just beautiful. You. And this is actually um, Azihaila Selassie's army's sword, uh, sword. It's one of his swordsmen's sword. Okay. So I can show you. What was his name? His name, I do not know. We we collect artifacts, so that's why. But as you can see, it says Lejano Hay Kibir, Lahagar Fikr. Always a motto we live by. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we can go this way. And these are some of our family photos. So this might be like one of my favorite parts of the living room because every time I come here, not only do you see photos of the present, but you can see photos of the past. Um, here is my grandfather and Asahara Selassie. First cousins, always very close. So <laughs> this is how it was, but yeah, so all of these different photos are a representation of us, the past and the present. That's beautiful. Thank you. History in a picture. Literally. Do you play the piano? I know how to read. I don't know how to play. You know how to read the notes. I know how to read the notes. I actually taught myself because my piano teacher, when I was nine, um, decided to go to the United States to become famous. So. I was left with just the ability to read music. Well, that's one step closer to learning how to play the piano. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have a few questions left. Okay, so should we head to my room? Sure. But yeah, I highly recommend this room. Um, I hope you're enjoying the home so far. It's beautiful indeed. This is Emperor Johannes and Emperor Theodros. Yes. So we celebrate all of our past leaders in this household. Honoring Ethiopian leaders. Beautiful. What's your favorite movie of all time? The Mummy, 100%. Okay, that's a surprise. <laughs> no, I love movies that literally let me escape to a different time. It's just, I just love that movie. Okay. So welcome to my room. Oh, it's such a beautiful room. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, so I'm a huge plant mom, mm -hmm. as you can see. I love my plants. Everything you see are real, okay? 100% <laughs> real. So yeah, I just, I love growing things. Like seeing any sign of life really makes me happy. Is that a reading area? Yeah, so it can get pretty sunny, but the best thing is, I can sit right here, then just lay back, and 
So his name is Ninkana. So oh, okay. He covers the sun for me and, and I'm able to read peacefully. <laughs> It's great to have Dinkana here. Absolutely. You also have a stunning view. Thank you. And we have a telescope over here. Yeah, I still have to set it up. It's from my childhood, so we need to figure things out again. I'm trying to get back into it. Okay, and we also have a special Hi. guest. <laughs> I love animals so much. But yeah. Whatever happened to the 10 dogs that you adopted? They passed. I was 8 years old. So over time, they passed away. And the bunnies? My dogs ate them. <laughs> <laughs> what is the most expensive item that you own? I think it would have to be my bag. <laughs> but yeah. Got Louis Vuitton. Yeah, so this is, I, I love, I love my bag. Oh, it's beautiful. Thanks. So this is my bathroom. I love taking a bath and with a view. Um, yeah. Quite a view. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> So I see a lot of um, skincare products here <laughs> and your skin is glistening. Thank you. What is your go-to skincare product? My absolute go-to, if I would have to like eradicate everything, would have to be my Shiseido sunscreen. Literally can't live without it. But after this, it's my Tatcha Dewy moisturizer. Oh, there's more. <laughs> literally, I can't help it. These two, my holy grail. Like literally can't live without them. But this one, number one. Number one. Now we're gonna move into would you rather questions. Okay. So, would you rather give up social media or movies? Mm, I think social media because watching movies, like I said many times, transports me to a completely different world. Okay. So, um, what's the most significant quality and a significant other? Loyalty, honesty, humor, confidence, ambition, or, passion, or compassion? I feel like everything such as like compassion, honesty, they're very important, but I believe that loyalty is first because loyalty literally encapsulates honesty and love in one. You wouldn't be loyal to anyone if you don't love them. You wouldn't be loyal to anyone if you weren't honest with them. Okay. So how would you deal with a breakup? A crazy night out with friends? Quiet night alone? Breakup sex with the ex? Or rebound with someone new? Um, I think I would actually take time to myself because uh, when I love, I love hard and it's going to take some time for me to heal. So yes, I would 100% choose time to myself. Okay, so would you rather lose all your money and valuables or, or lose the pictures you have ever taken? I think lose all the money that I have ever made because um, brief brief story um, my father when everything was taken from them during the dirk it wasn't about their wealth anymore it wasn't about the money or their business it was literally nothing it wasn't even about their title <laughs> it literally was the memories that they lost so now when my father looks back he always tells me money is something that you can always build but mem memories are something that I should always cherish and if we had them in forms of pictures and they were taken away, I think that would be the most heartbreaking thing. Okay, so that's a deep story. <laughs> yeah. Would you yeah. rather someone read your text message or your search history? Um, definitely my search history. I really have nothing to hide. <laughs> so you're left with a couple of questions to answer. Okay. Would you rather walk barefoot in a public restroom or get poisoned? Get poisoned. <laughs> Anything but the first one. I didn't even finish. I'm huge on hygiene, so there is absolutely no way. Okay, we got a clean freak here. Yes. <laughs> so, next question. Would you rather never be stuck in traffic again or never get another cold? I think I'd, ne I'd rather never get a cold because getting a cold is absolutely dreadful. Get being in traffic is literally momentary. Colds last for days. <laughs> so, with the traffic and Addis? 
Yeah, even with the traffic and at these, I'd rather never have a cold. Okay, last question. Would you rather never get angry or never be envious? I think never be envious. Envy is honestly poisonous and being envious of others is going to lead to your own downfall. So I think I'd rather choose angry, even though I don't like being angry. <laughs> hey, thanks for having me. Thank you so much for coming, Shadai. It just means so much. Same.